What do we use U for in Vim? Well, we use it to undo. It undoes stuff. Hey, welcome back to another video on Vim covering A to Z, the Vim alphabet. I'm Chantastic, and first, I need to apologize for how long it's been. I said in the last video, I'd see you tomorrow, and it is a week later. February is like a notoriously bad month for me. It's the month my dad died, so we kind of like do some family stuff during all this week, and then like it's a Valentine's Day, and I'm a bad planner, so I have to spend extra effort setting all that stuff, and uh, all my coworkers are in town, so all the time that I don't spend commuting or socializing, all that gets packed into this one week, and uh, there's just a lot of festivities and craziness, and um, yeah, so this last week was kind of chaotic, but back, back in a normal routine, and uh, we're going to start with you, start the end, really, we have you and some other letters. About five-ish, I, I don't know. I have always had to count my way through the alphabet. Anyway, U is extremely important because it undoes. Now, today I'm going to talk about U, capital U, and then redo, which is kind of the opposite of U. Um, it's, it's a command that we wouldn't cover uh, in the alphabet because it's, it's guarded by control, but I'll, I'll show you all that. So let's jump into our editor. Uh, today we're going to open the quick brown fox file, which just has five lines each with the text, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now, what I can do is if I do R, which we used the other day, and change this to a lowercase t, um, I have made a change. Now that change is undoable, and I can undo it with U. Nice and easy. So that's all there is to U, really. Uh, there's some kind of complexities around it, but that's that's how I use it all the time. It's just hitting you to undo. Uh, if I do multiple changes, so let's uh, change a couple of these. Um, I can step back through those by hitting you multiple times. You, 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 you. Now, if I want to redo something, I can do Control and R. And I can do that multiple times as well, and that will step through all of my changes. So we can use U to undo, Control R to redo, and those um, will go back and forth through your history. Um, and there's one thing that's really interesting. If you do a capital U or Shift U, um, it will undo all of the changes on a line. So we'll do that now. We'll hold down Shift and U, and it resets that line. Now, if you need help or you'd like to find out some of the more advanced usages of this, you can do uh, issue the command colon help or colon H and give it the letter U. That will give you all of the documentation for you and talk about how the history works, um, what you can expect when you're doing that whole like uh, replacing a undoing all the changes on a line, etc. Uh, it also talks about this control R and this is one of those uh, those like Vim only type of commands. So this is kind of one of those areas where you have the difference between Vim and VI. So that's all we got for today. If you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments or post some ways that you use you that we didn't cover here today. Thanks so much for watching. We will cover V tomorrow and I promise it'll actually be tomorrow.